What is up guys welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 7 everyday differences that surprised me in the US. Interesting, it's fairly from Germany. Checked out this channel before haven't we? Yeah. Um, we've done a couple, we've done two videos I think from there. Yes I think um, so. And one was similar to this. It wasn't this, I'm trying to was think. Was it just differences? I think it was stuff you can't live, everyday things you, you can't live, live without. Or something like that I think it was. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. And then they were something which she couldn't understand or something like that was yeah it? i think that, um yeah. but this is a new video so we're going to check it out smash the like button smash the subscribe button before we get into it we if it, if it is blurred we haven't blurred it yeah we got so many I'm comments where you're going, then. yeah we get so many comments about us blurring on the last two videos a lot of comments explain why which is why we know now um someone copyrighted the name she used to have so she had to go back and blur everything so in these videos her previous things didn't somebody have it first and then she used it but didn't realize i think it was some, some, somebody somebody funny basically about it. owned it pretty much tried yeah. to copyright it on my name uh so she had to change it um uh, blurred it all and that's why so we haven't just gone and blurred her instagram <laughs> before we get hate um are you ready for this video yeah should be good smash the like button smash the subscribe button check out patreon because there is three of us now and it would really help now there's been three he's coming out in like four or five weeks yeah he's <laughs> gonna be here in literally well six weeks of a due date isn't it so and yeah. millie thinks he's gonna be early I think it's going to be three weeks early. Yeah, potentially. We'll see. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. You ready to get into it? Yeah. Seven everyday differences that surprised me, and we'll give the UK version. This is the German one in the US. What we got? Okay, cool. I'll just message you on WhatsApp later. Wait, you're going to message me on what? Oh, I think she's mentioned that one before. That's nice. Yeah, that's not exactly that. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia, I'm from Munich, Germany, but I currently live in Cincinnati, Ohio, where I've spent about two years in total since 2016. So before I came to America to actually live here during my exchange semester in fall 2016, I had been to the country a few times as a tourist, so I did have an idea of what to expect and okay. what some of the differences would be in my everyday life. It's different Still, there living were a though, isn't it? few random yeah. things that America handles differently than Germany that I didn't see coming at all. Just some standard things where I would have never even thought that anyone in the world would do this differently until I moved to the US. So here are seven everyday differences that surprised me in America. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, what's up? I Germany think we've had this one before. In Germany and a lot of yeah. other countries in the world, hardly anyone still uses text messages to communicate with others. The messaging app WhatsApp started blowing up in 2011 and has pretty much replaced text messages. I didn't know it was that old. At least in Germany. Mm. We don't even use the word SMS anymore, which is what we used to call regular text messages in our everyday language. We just say, I'll message you or I'll send you a WhatsApp. And that yeah, WhatsApp, WhatsApp wasn't yeah, really a lot thing of, in the US, absolutely a lot of people say oh whatsapp yeah yeah whatsapp is massive in the uk isn't it mm, I, it is I, I, I don't want to say everybody uses it but everyone i know uses it Every, i think everyone i know uses it too yeah pretty much it's like the efficient app for it isn't it no matter yeah. what m model make or phone you've got everyone's got whatsapp yeah it just makes life easier let us know in the comments if you use whatsapp it'd be interesting to know the numbers on it mm. do you know what i mean let us know in the comments if you do use whatsapp asked me when i first got here a lot of people that i mentioned it to hadn't even heard of the app before and ever since yeah, so then mad. i've been yeah, asking myself why i mean you would think that it's just as big in the us as it is worldwide especially since it's an american company and was bought by facebook in 2014. whatsapp has 1.5 billion That's a lot users, of users in over 180 countries, but the US market is really small compared to the rest of the world. Less than 10% of Ooh. all Americans use it. In Germany, it's 65%. That's not a lot. My best wow. guess is just that the need for a messaging app wasn't and isn't as big here as it is in other parts of the world, because a lot of people in the US use iPhones and therefore can use iMessage, which also works via the internet and is pretty much just a little built in messaging app with apple okay. in fact yeah, according about to a that. statistic from march 2019 i use that with 47 percent mm. of all americans use an iphone so almost she half the population <laughs> whereas in germany it's only 21 percent okay so wow maybe this has to do with the amount of android users in germany I think, and in other countries. i think europeans tend to have more android phones i guess so but even still 53 percent of americans don't have an iphone so you could say let's just say 
half of them don't have a phone. So you're saying 25% have an Android then. Mm. Less than 10% have WhatsApp. You know what I mean? It's yeah, still but I guess extremely low. There's like Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Yeah. Things like that. I feel like oh, I Facebook text... Messenger is awful. Yeah, but you don't use... That's you. Yeah. You... I would say I use Facebook Messenger loads. All my mates WhatsApp. don't use it. You're like the one of the only but people I know who use it. your friends use Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat is used, but they Whereas, use WhatsApp like, as well. I use Messenger for all my group chats. Yeah. I bet I only use WhatsApp to talk to you and your family, literally. Fair enough. Fair enough. Literally, that's all. Fair enough. That Fair is enough. literally it. Countries. The result of this is that text messages have pretty much died out we in Germany. Yeah. And only 9 billion text messages have been sent throughout the entire year of 2018 in Germany. Okay. Whereas in America, 6 billion text messages are sent in Ooh. one day alone. A lot more people And this though. is the yeah. reason why when my Samsung broke last year, I decided to get an iPhone instead, even though I'm Did not we? the biggest fan of iPhones. No. But I just knew that it would make my life a lot easier in the US with the whole iMessage situation. But as someone who used to only use WhatsApp for years, I personally think that iMessage doesn't even get close to what WhatsApp offers you. The picture quality is a lot lower than when you send pictures via WhatsApp. The sound quality of voice messages is lower and it's just not as practical. See, I never send pictures barely. Yeah. On either. And I never voice message. So I, I just, just Yeah, I just receive memes I, and then I've never, never noticed I've, the difference between iMessage and WhatsApp in that term. I've never voice messaged but in my life. I've never sent a voice right, message. it's a big thing about voice messaging. I I've never done it. I could never. I've never ever done it in my life, but it is a big thing. I could never. On my WhatsApp, you it. really have all of your conversations in one place. One-on-one -on -one conversations as well as group messages. Okay. In the US, a lot of people do have group conversations on iMessage, but this only works if everyone in the group has an iPhone. Yeah. Since not everybody does, a lot of people here use separate apps when it comes to group messaging, such as GroupMe or just Facebook Messenger. Okay. To me, that just seems a little yeah. unpractical, especially since there is a way to have it all in one place with better quality too. On WhatsApp, you also have a video if and an downloads the app everyone has to download facebook messenger it's the same thing no no but i mean it, oh definitely but, yeah so I mean, but everyone can get access to it that's the point everyone has access so if you want to be in the group chat but, you can't not everyone has access to iMessage but everyone has access to messenger true same the same as whatsapp but it's the same but whatsapp's better quality so it's like why don't you go to that if, if it's the same access you know what i mean picture quality sound copy that's compared to iMessage i don't know if it's compared to facebook oh no it definitely is For the same thing i know the um way. a guy yeah it doesn't matter i'm, I'm no. pretty sure um a guy at work i won't say his name even no one knows where i work he banged on about all the time he's like oh yeah uh what's that and also when we were doing the food reactions i sent through all our stuff through messenger and the quality were awful so i had to up, uh, upload it didn't i yeah but you tried whatsapp and it was still on it was still awful too uh, I couldn't download it from WhatsApp on my computer. That's why. Audio call option included, which is the number one way for me to communicate with my friends and family in Germany, to be honest. And I'm not being paid by WhatsApp, by the way. Um, this is just one of the things in America that absolutely baffled me. Okay, emojis. This one is somewhat related to the whole WhatsApp and texting topic. Americans use a lot less emojis than Germans and people from some other countries do. Okay. I'm what yeah, do you reckon? They do do we use a lot of emojis? I think I we do. do. Yeah. I use emojis all the time. Pretty much yeah. in every message. Pooh, yeah, emojis are quite big over here, aren't they? Yeah, we don't really emoji each other. No, I don't really send many but, emojis to you. But, but I definitely use them. If I'm sending, I'll always add a smiley face or something. Yeah, I always do smiley faces. But actually, I've noticed that if I speak to Americans, they don't send, tend to send me any emojis. Oh, there you go. Send me more emojis. There we go. I mean, I'm texting sad, can be it. tricky no matter what country you're from. But in Germany, it's very common to use a lot of smiley faces and emojis while texting just to set the tone and kind of make clear. Which is weird because on the WhatsApp thing, yeah, it said they, Amer a lot of Americans have iPhones. Yeah. Which you think they would use emojis because they're You think so. Yeah. yeah. I use smiley faces all the time. Yeah, you do. All the time. Every message pretty much. Ones with the, the D. Oh, I do the D one. Is, I do it all the time. Here, the D. What <laughs> interpretation your message has. So we often add smiley faces, even if it's just an objective message, just to make clear that this is meant in a friendly way. And if you don't do that, it often means that something is wrong or it's just considered not as friendly. 
And yeah, then you ask the majority across, of people that nice I have text with or have texted with doesn't really use emojis or smiley faces. Instead, a lot of old-fashioned abbreviations like LOL or LMAO seem to be I a little more common. I use them so when well. I first got here, it took me a while to get used to this. And also, I was often worried that people were annoyed with me because they didn't send smiley faces with their messages. Okay. And since Americans are generally really friendly and polite people, I totally would have thought that they would use just as many or maybe even more emojis than we do. But maybe that's even part of the reason for this difference, that Americans don't really need to use mm. smiley faces because they usually mean everything in a friendly way anyways. That makes sense. Usually at least. Whereas Germans often talk in a more serious way with each other, so maybe we need to make this a little bit more clear that something is meant in a friendly way. And maybe, maybe. it also that has to do with the whole WhatsApp situation, because WhatsApp just has a lot of emojis within the app. True. Maybe for the Brits, I was thinking as well, because we're so like, oh, I don't want to annoy you. I don't want to piss you off. It's like, mm. throw an emoji, man, make, make sure they yeah. know I'm not annoyed. <laughs> I'm going to try not use emojis now. I don't do it on purpose. I use emojis all the time. Yeah. I'm going to try, no try not. That won't last long. I'm going to try not use them. Checks and payments, okay? We don't ever use checks anymore, do we? We, have, we actually have a joint checkbook that we've never used. Well, yeah, we never used. We don't have money to send checks. Um, but... <laughs> I get a check from my grandma sometimes for my birthday. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I talked about this one a little bit more in depth in my video on money and payments, which I'll link to in the info box. Legend, but if you want to check that out I in the comments. Before I came to the US, I had no clue that checks were still a thing. I had literally never seen a check before in my entire life. Oh wow. Most things work via online banking in Germany, which is really fast and safe. You just log into your online bank account, type in the international bank account number of the account that you want to transfer money to, then you enter the amount, of course, and then you get a... It's only safe if you put the right details in. Yeah, that's what that I time I sent... Oh, yeah, you we sent just like, about a holiday to money, weren't you, didn't and you? And I literally just got paid from my little Saturday job. Uh, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I've been saving it all up. And I went to transfer it to... Was it to you? Or... Yeah, to me. To, and I sent it to put someone it random. It, it? It to someone random. It, I mean, it was I like, back. It was like £200, back. Pound, but at the time... But that was a lot of money to me. That was like I was spending money on holiday. I was like, oh, my God, yeah. And, and then, then I sent it to someone else. Yeah, we, we did get back to That was stressful, though, weren't it? We didn't get back till after the holiday, though. It weren't till after you, because you only had a Saturday job, didn't you? So you worked every Saturday of the month and then went to college. I had a job, but again, we were, we were skinny. It was literally right? my £50. Pound, I got £50 pound a day. Pretty a, much. A Saturday. A Saturday, yeah. And it was £200. Pound. I just got paid for it. Good that times. So that, that, yeah, it's only safe if you send it to the right account. <laughs> so called TAN number to your previously authorized device via an app or a text message. So, yes, this would be one of the rare cases where I would actually get a text message in Germany. Then you enter the TAN number to the online banking process, and that's it. This sometimes takes me less than a minute if I'm sending money to an account that I have pre-saved. Yeah. In the US, quick, online yeah. payment services such as Apple Pay, Venmo or Facebook Pay are pretty big and they're used a lot, but normal online banking, as in transferring money from bank to bank without a third party in between, seems to be kind of rare. Really? I have been Let's paid for direct deposit true. in the US, but I never actually made a money transfer like that myself. It wow. just doesn't seem to be a big option just here. If you transfer yeah. money between family or friends, people here usually use checks, cash or one of those apps. Okay. So it seems like the US is stuck between the future and the 50s, kinda. I mean, you can go to the store and pay with your phone, but then you'll pay your rent with a check or cash in person, which is what I've done for three out of four places I've lived at in the US. And you can see this in the you know, city to state too. The, ta the, the cash thing is probably a tax avoidance. That's probably why we're doing the cash thing. Check, probably not. But the cash thing, like, yeah, just, yeah, but just slide that under the rug. That's not good. And that's what we don't do that because we don't rent anywhere, so. No, yeah, we actually don't do that. Well, we can't do that of anything. In Germany, <laughs> a lot seen of former bank time. branches are vacant nowadays because not a lot of people actually need to go to a bank counter anymore. Whereas here in the US, you don't only see a lot of banks, but you even see those check cashing places that oh, look wow. totally vintage to me when I first saw them. Yeah, I've never so seen the them before. The payment situation is definitely uh... different in the US, and I didn't really expect that beforehand. I'd personally prefer sending money directly to a bank rather than having a company like PayPal or Facebook involved and have them track all my payments and collect my data. 
but on the other hand the whole check situation can be kind of fun too sometimes i mean i own my personal checkbook now and writing a check definitely makes you feel oh, powerful she likes and it. like a grown-up oh, i'm waiting to write checks <laughs> i used to have the little fake checkbooks as a kid i used to just write checks out you can write me a check if you want and like my mom would get us for like our birthday or something like a as a present, like yep. a checkbook, like coupon. Yeah. So I had to go around writing people checks for well, you coupons. Can, you can make me a check if you want, please. I beg. You have the same account. <laughs> you have to my account. <laughs> the account that has mine. You've got the same account, mate. <laughs> this is something that I never Chance really what noticed. Was this? And... Floor numbering. What? This How is something is this? that I never really noticed until I moved here. Levels are counted differently in the ah, US yeah. than they oh. are in Germany like, and like other countries in Europe and in Asia. So we've got round floor. Basement. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this. Talk about house with no basement first. Oh, I was talking about car park. I was talking uh, about yeah, was, okay. <laughs> if you've got a basement, you've got a basement. That's underground. Ground floor is your ground floor. You like, you walk in first. I think you go up, you go up first. But I think they call the ground floor the first floor. And I think yeah. that's the confusing thing. Yeah, so there, so like where the like where we'd walk in would be the first floor. I think so. Yeah. In Germany, we have the ground level, Erdgeschoss, and then the first level above ground level is the first floor, and so on. And the first floor is called Erster Stock or Erstes Obergeschoss, oh, wow. first upper level. So okay. I think that kind of makes sense. Americans, however, don't have to do all that thinking. For them, the ground level is simply the first floor, and then the floor above that is the second floor, and so on. So when it's an American says that they live on the third floor, it's really just the second floor for us Germans. A little confusing, I mean, I guess it makes once... sense in terms of if they don't have ground floor as a thing anyway, it is technically the first floor. The it's first the floor first you floor walk in. I get ground floor works well because it is the ground level floor. Yeah. But first floor does make sense. Yeah. Because you could argue, you know, say you've got the ground level, then you've got the first rise. Or yeah. you could say, well, this is the first floor I've been in. So so, the, yeah. So it's a bit confusing. Once you it learn is. about it, it's really not that hard it's just to just where switch. you live, I guess. You used to. Yeah. It's not really a secret that the US likes to use different scale units for a lot of things. Okay. Miles, inches and yeah. feet instead of meters and kilometers, gallons instead of liters, Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, etc. But I think until you actually work or study here, you may not be aware of the fact that the paper format is different as well. Ooh, instead of the common A sizes, yeah. like the A4 or the A5 size, Americans like to use the letter or the legal format. So to show you this, this is an A4 yep. sized paper, which we use in Germany. And then this is a letter size paper that they use in the US. Okay. So the letter oh, is different a lot size. shorter than the A4 and it's a tiny bit wider, even though I'm not quite sure if you can see this. Oh wow. And I'm just asking myself why. I personally haven't found a single advantage of why someone would prefer using this letter size paper format over the A system. On the contrary, it has a lot of downsides in my opinion. Every I don't think it's that deep, to be honest. I, no, it's just paper. Yeah, but I think it's a case of, again, the whole reason we don't change to the metric system from Imperial is because the whole banks, everything is structured around that. Yeah. Maybe all your machines are structured around the letter paper. Do you know what I mean? Where it takes A4, it takes letter. I, it's I, a bit confusing I don't think to us. It, it's confusing to us because we don't have it, but they could argue that ours is... Ours is just as confusing. I, I don't think it's um, that deep I think it's paper. just a case it's too much hassle to change it. Again, please let us know in the comments. Why change it if it's not broken? Yeah, well, it costs a lot of money to change it's it, not, potentially. It's not... If you, are, if you want to change all your machines, it costs a lot why, of money. Why, like... Exactly. Why does it matter if we get it? has yeah. different <laughs> proportions, which can make life a little complicated sometimes. With the A system, system, you can print out PDFs or graphic designs on whatever format because every size has the same proportions. So at German universities, a lot of students print out their PDFs in a way that they fit two pages on one sheet of paper or you can even fit four pages on one sheet of paper yeah. and if you make a design for a poster for example you can simply just print out the same design in a smaller flyer format because it all has the same proportions not here if you want to print two pages on one sheet of paper they'll have to be scaled down so that oh, you wow. won't be able to use the full annoying. size of the paper yeah, but not if you're and if, if you design a poster and you want to print it out in a smaller format you'll have to make
they can probably do that quicker than I can do figuring out what size paper I need to select on the printer. No, I get that, but for us, like I say, when we when we've done it a simple way, it seems like more hassle. Yeah, it definitely does. But then they might think it. And no, definitely, annually definitely. adjust That's the awesome. proportions first. Also, binders in the US have three instead of just two of those rings. Okay. Which, first of all, doesn't make too much sense to me because the paper is actually shorter and we only use More two rings for the okay. larger Solidify or taller A4 paper in Germany. And then also it makes your life so much more difficult because hole punchers here are enormous. This oh, is a normal free. hole puncher here in the US takes up a lot of space, not very handy, whereas this is a whole yeah, puncher hot, in it? Germany. And a lot of students even have these super handy little binder hole punchers that they just put in their binder and that are really oh, wow. light. I've so this is something that, that really that. surprised me because I would have never guessed that you'd make paper sizes that don't have the same proportions. And to this day, it sometimes really annoys me. So please change this, America. I don't no. think I will. I don't think I will. I don't think they care that much. <laughs> this is one that wasn't too much of a surprise for me, but it took me a long time to get used to it. And every time I come back from Germany, it feels weird again to do this. Throwing away bottles and cans. In Germany, we have a deposit system for plastic and glass bottles, as well as for drink cans. Oh, for I've seen about this. I think she's mentioned it before as well, but I saw on Facebook my uncle was showing it, and they actually get paid to do it. For it. They don't get paid much, but. Obviously, in the God, UK. They should do it for us. Yeah, we definitely would recycle all the time. We recycle 99% of the time, but we recycle all the time if that was the case. Oh, that's actually so mean. I want that. But we don't have it. I don't want it. That's but then, if we care about the environment. Yeah, you should, should just, just do it. But well, I would, if, if we're going to get paid, I would definitely that's do it a lot more. Bottle or can, you get eight. 15 or 25 cents Ooh. back when you Should return them to the like, store oh. for recycling. So in Germany, I had never thrown an empty bottle or can into the regular trash can. Instead, you would collect them. A lot of people collect them underneath the sink and then return them. So throwing those items into a trash can, even if it's a recycling trash can, took me a lot of effort in the beginning. And it was also weird for me to see people squeeze cans or plastic bottles together before throwing them yeah. out. Yeah, we squish them, because don't we? if you do that yeah. in Germany, the return machine won't be able to read the barcode anymore and you'll lose your money. And even normal glass That's like a German pickle thing, definitely. or yeah. jelly jars don't go into the normal trash in Germany. Instead, we collect the used glass and bring it to particular containers in the neighborhood. Okay. Those some places like that in the UK. Yeah. Groceries, and finally, okay. there are a few minor things at the grocery store that are different in the US and in Germany. What we just call grocery... Shopping? Shopping. I guess we just call it shopping. Have you got the shopping? We just call it a shop, not a grocery store. Yeah, we just call it a shop. And then it would say, oh, we've got our shopping. Oh, we're going to go and get our shopping. Yeah. 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 Milk has different percentages, for example. Who would have guessed? In Germany, you can buy milk with 1.5% of fat or 3.5%. Here Sounds in the US, as it's 1%, 2%. Then there's whole milk, which has about 3.3%, or there's skim milk, which yeah, is fat that. free. Yeah, maybe and of course, I don't actually it know comes what in different have. packaging, semi the most common skimmed. being. We have the same as yeah, I know we've got, we got semi skimmed, full fat. Which I don't know the percentages of. That's the thing. And we've got full fat. I don't fat. think it even says the percentages on it. I don't think it does. I like think it just in, says... Like, noticeably. Noticeable, really yeah. I mean, it's like full fat, low fat, semi-skin, skimmed. Yeah. I don't know if there's any more. I, I would never like, be able to tell you the percentages. I think there's like the whole... You, have the, you go into the long life milk and all that Yeah, stuff. maybe. Oh, yeah, you've been you've got milk in a cart. Jersey only has weird. two. He only has semi-skimmed or skimmed. Is that all we got in Jersey? And it's all just Jersey Dairy as well, isn't yeah. it? It's just one company. <laughs> a gallon a or green. a half gallon in a plastic container such as this as in paper a half gallon and this a is cardboard in jersey in, in jersey in the, the uk it's that yeah. um in germany milk goes mm. by the liter and it usually comes in tetra packs then cheese that. here is often pretty much shrink wrapped like for example sliced cheese looks like this oh wow or even mozzarella oh that's like proper this, which in germany usually comes in water or some kind of liquid Eggs come in dozens instead of 10 packs like they do in Germany. And yeah, the dozens. yolk comes mm -hmm. in slightly different colors. In the US, it's a little bit more yellow. And in Germany, it's more orange. I've and I've read noticed. that farms apparently do this on purpose because of the different consumer preferences. Which that is I'm a not thing. Sure that's that's true. I mean, I've I don't know. say I've ever looked close enough to 
I don't know tell, what how what makes it orange, what makes it I don't know what we have in England or Jersey. But all I know is a guy at work when we've given him some eggs on my eyes going, Oh my god, they're so orange, they're so nice. Just from my mum's eggs. And I thought, yeah, oh, I, can't, I can't say I've ever thought about it when I've been I don't really make eggs that much. I don't no. think I've And I could just scramble it. Yeah, I don't think I... I mean, I don't know. I don't Maybe it makes a difference. It. Yeah, we don't think about it. We don't really care what kind of colour it has. I mean, unless it has, like, a really weird, unhealthy-looking colour. Yeah, it's the only time you pay attention. Yeah. Either way. But anyways, I don't know if that's true. So those were my seven... Enjoy that. Yeah, some ones I didn't think would be on there, like ones I wouldn't think This of. was such a different list to what we normally have. It, some... was, it was a few, a few, like the WhatsApp, a few, like, ones we've had before. But, some but that was from her, like from like, anyone else, we've never had WhatsApp. No. Um, I feel like this is the list which other people go, it's not that big of a deal. And I don't think any of these are bigger deals. But it's, yeah. I think it's refreshing to hear different differences. Well, I wouldn't know about them having different paper sizes. Yeah, exactly. I've it's never not a big that. deal, but I wouldn't know about it. Yeah, I've never known that as well. I, again, please let us know in comments. I'm guessing it's a case of you've always had that. Now it costs why too much change? money to change it. And mm -hmm. why change it at the end of the day if it works? Be interesting. But I would have assumed they'd have A4. I would assume they had A4, A3, A1, A0, yeah. whatever. Let us know in the comments what you guys think on that. Smash the eye button. Let us know in the comments if you want to check out more of Belly from Germany videos. And what's your video? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.